Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Super Saiyan JB and today I'm out exploring a jungle. Unfortunately, there's no jungles in Ohio, so I didn't make do with what I have. My backyard. I mean, my backyard's basically a jungle. I mean, I got trees, I got grass. What more is there to need? Just think, I'm a gamer touching grass. I'm gonna be in the record books for sure. Now, why am I exploring the discount jungle, you may be asking yourself? Well, because I have dreams. Dreams of becoming an adventurer and going out and exploring the world around me. Wait, was that thunder I heard? Oh, hell no! I should've just got Jumanji the video game. I've always been a big fan of adventure movies, and one of my favorites growing up was a 1995 Robin Williams movie called Jumanji. This is a movie involving a group of people playing a magic board game where whatever happened in the game happened in real life. The game wants you to become a monkey and BAM you're a monkey now. This movie became a big hit and is seen as a classic nowadays. And many years later this movie would get a follow up released in 2017 called Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. This is a film where four teenagers get sucked into a video game called Jumanji and they become the avatars they chose. This movie starred four major celebrities. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Kevin Hart, Jack Black, and Karen Gillian. This movie became a massive success and led to a sequel released in 2019, which is also really good. And as you all know, when something becomes successful, companies will make a video game on it. In 2019, we received Jumanji the video game released on all modern consoles. Sorry 3DS fans, I said consoles. When this game was announced, there was actually a lot of hype for it. However, when it finally released, both fans and critics weren't very happy with it. Now before the making of this video, I never actually played this game, and I was kind of curious to see if it really was that bad, so today I'm going to take a look at and review Jumanji the video game, so let's check it out. So this is Jumanji the video game, this is me trying to drown myself in my own bathtub. <laughs> Wasn't I playing Jumanji the video game? This game came out in 2019, around the same time as the second movie, and you'd think it'd be a game based on the movie, right? Well, not exactly. Here's the thing, this game has no storyline at all. The closest thing to an actual story is this one NPC guy from the movies who tells you how to play the game, but more on that in a bit. We select play from the main menu, and this is where everything immediately goes downhill. Because yeah, turns out this game is meant to be a multiplayer game. And not only that, this game is meant to be a multiplayer battle royale type of game. And when you start up the game, you start to realize something. This game is just another Fortnite clone. Like, just looking at the gameplay here alone, you can clearly tell this game wanted a piece of that Fortnite revenue. Even the character select screen gives me Fortnite vibes, and I hate it. I mean, I also hate Fortnite too, but that's besides the point. It's also weird seeing the characters in Jumanji use guns considering the fact that they never use any guns in the actual movies. But hey, maybe I'm being too harsh on the game, we haven't even started playing it yet. And you can't play this game with just one player, so there's still hope, right? WRONG! This game is boring as fuck. Now what you're supposed to do in this game is return a jewel to a statue and call out Jumanji so you'll beat the level. Along the way you'll need to collect 4 Jumanji game pieces to open up doors, shoot relics to get more points, shoot down enemies, shoot more enemies, and what do you know, shoot even more enemies. Yeah, this game is repetitive as hell. Every level has you pretty much do the exact same things over and over again. Now since I am doing a single player playthrough, that means I can only control one character per level. Honestly, I think this is such a missed opportunity here. It would have been way cooler to let us switch between the characters as we play. But remember, this game's supposed to be a multiplayer game. Yeah, you're a loser for playing this game by yourself. Let me be real here though. I don't think any of my friends will want to join me in playing Jumanji the video game. Hey, uh, any of you guys want to play Jumanji the video game with me? Hello? Hello? Heck, I even tried to play a game online, but not a single other person showed up. I know, it's crazy, right? And you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, Super Sonic JB, I'm sure the single player isn't that bad. Well, you'd be surprised here, but it sucks. The AI in this game is absolutely terrible. There would be plenty of times where it would be surrounded by enemies, but the other characters would literally do absolutely nothing to help me. They'd either hide behind cover for a while, cowering in fear, or they'd just run aimlessly around in circles until the fight ends. The only time I felt like my teammates actually helped me was when Jack Black would heal me. Where's my phone? Now, as I said earlier, this game is a Fortnite clone in so many ways. Just the art style alone makes it seem like the main cast and models in Fortnite. In this game, you shoot all the enemies in an area in order to unlock the next area, and you'll continue this process until you reach a statue where you place a gem to beat the level. Your characters can run, vault over objects, and even slide. Wait, 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 we do the electric slides! Electric, wow, boom, boom! 
Yeah, this slide is pretty pathetic. I mean, you literally barely move a few inches, and it's not even that cool looking at all. Now, to be honest, the controls aren't that bad, but the game itself is just so freaking boring. Literally, all I'm doing here is the same shit over and over again. Run forward, kill enemies, collect Jumanji pieces. Run forward, kill more enemies, collect even more Jumanji pieces. And this cycle continues throughout the entire game. Now, in some portions of a level, you'll come across these obelisks, and the jewel that you're holding will power it up. Now, you're supposed to keep the jewel near the obelisk in order to power it up, and this will unlock the next door, and you'll be able to proceed in the level. And as you're staying near the obelisk, you'll have to fight a ton of enemies again. And these obelisk sections are also scattered across each level, so once again, you have to repeat this process over and over again. Also, if you move too far away from the obelisk, it'll stop powering up completely, so make sure you don't leave the square here during the fight. You can also pass on a duel to a teammate, and whoever is holding it will receive power up to their weapon for a short period of time. However, if you hold on to the jewel for too long, you'll start to take damage, so you want to pass it on to a teammate to avoid this. And throughout each level, you'll come across ammo that you can pick up to reload your weapon, and there's even some health items lying around that will heal you up. And these things are scattered everywhere across the level, so you'll never really have to worry about getting a game over. Also, in some portions of a level, you run into these dangerous dungeon-like areas. They have tons of booby traps everywhere. <laughs> I just said traps. Traps illustrated? Freddy! I, uh, I read it for the articles. My god, these traps are everywhere! Now, yeah, these traps may look deadly, but in all honesty, they're really not. They're more of an inconvenience than a harmful obstacle. The game wants you to move slowly through this area and avoid the obstacles. But really, you can just run right through the traps, and they'll barely do any damage to you at all. Wow, this looks dangerous, but eh, I gotta be somewhere at 3, so I'll just run right through this fire here to save time. Now, as you play through the game, you'll notice the characters aren't voiced by the actors from the movies. Which, yeah, makes sense. I mean, it would've cost way too much money to have big-time celebrities voice in a video game. But these characters don't really sound that much like the actors they're voicing over. Especially the guy who voices The Rock, like, just listen to him. Score went up. So, this is the room where we wait and get our act together. Okay then. Ah, it's hurting! Yeah, that voice really doesn't fit at all. Now, out of all four character voices, I'd say Jack Black's voice acting was the most accurate, but even still, it wasn't that great. Something that does annoy me, though, is how much the characters keep talking non-stop. There is so much recycled dialogue in this game that the characters keep repeating. I got it! Uh, back to normal. Weapon power's gone. Sad face. Shut up. And then there's the music. While it's not bad necessarily, it's also pretty lame. It's like the devs just went online and downloaded some MP4 files called Generic Adventure Music. Look out! Also, as you can tell from some of the footage here, the game is really laggy at times. Like, I'm not even playing online here, yet the game is just that laggy. There's also a lot of popping issues here and there that can get pretty annoying at times. And of course, the worst part is when you're fighting a whole gang of enemies, and the game decides it wants to lag harder than the game of Smash Bros. Brawl Online. Heck, this game lags so much for me that I started to lag in real life! So let me tell you the meaning of life. And that's the meaning of life. I hope you heard all that, because I'm not going to repeat it again. Not to mention, there are only four stages to play from in this game, and two of them are the exact same stage, but at different times of day. Or is it really? This is the bizarre stage from earlier, at night. But in actuality, it's just the same stage, but with a darker lighting added. You can clearly tell it's still daytime here, but I guess the devs ran out of time here, and we're like... Eh, screw it, add a dark filter to it and we'll call it a day. This game truly is horrible. And it's only about one hour long too, so you'll finish this game in no time flat. Honestly, this game had so much opportunity that I can't believe they wasted all to make another Fortnite clone. Like, these movies were great and had fun storylines, why wouldn't they make a game revolving around those storylines? A dude from the movies telling you how to slide into your DMs is not a story, it's just sad. Eh, kind of like how sad I felt in purchasing this game. I bet the person who sold this to me thought I was insane. Honestly, I don't really have much more to say about this game. It's just another boring cash grab license game that doesn't need to exist. Who knows, maybe it'll make a true Jumanji game sometime in the future, but until then, I think I'll just stick to watching the movies rather than playing this lame game. So yeah, that was Jumanji the video game, and yeah, in the end, it sucked. 
like this game just had so much potential, but they decided to waste it all and make it a copy of a game that a lot of people do not like. I'd rather be living in the actual jungle right now instead of playing this crappy game. But yeah, like I said, there's no jungles in Ohio and there's like a 2% chance of rain out there, so I'm not going out there again. I guess the next best thing I can do is take a picture of myself and put it on a jungle looking background. Is this the part where I screen Jumanji?